Lauren, thank you. We love this project. Mm -hmm. CBS4 is helping the Teddy Bear Patrol collect new stuffed animals for kids in traumatic situations. As Michelle Griego shows us, one grandma wanted to support the cause, but also use it as a teaching tool. Um, there was this really big teddy bear my brother, um, my brother um, picked to donate. Brothers and cousins, these five grandsons know each other so well. It brought a smile to my face, so I would be happy that my brother is going to give it to someone else to put a smile on theirs too. Graham's Julie Draper works for Presbyterian St. Luke's. She wanted to make sure to support the teddy bear patrol. Just couldn't help but think of my own five grandsons and what it would be like for them if they were in an emergency situation or in an accident. Granddad extraordinaire Kevin took the boys shopping. Each got a bear to donate and they got one to keep. It allowed them to donate a bear but also to have a bear at home so that they could think about that child and pray for that child that may be receiving that bear that they did donate. A lesson in giving that wasn't lost on these boys. It would um, make someone feel safer like if they were nervous like what was going to happen. A little later our seven-year-old Tristan said, Grams, I put a lot of love in my bear before I put him in the bin. I was excited to cheer, to cheer people up. Now these stuffed animals filled with love are ready to cheer up other children. I'm Michelle Griego covering Colorado First. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. You can help the teddy bear patrol too. All you have to do is just drop off a new stuffed animal into the donation bins at any Health One facility. We have a list of the places for you on our website. We make it easy for you at cbsdenver.com. Fantastic. We'll check